we're all shocked day by day as the number of cases continues to go up, sort of as people like Dr. Fauci have been predicting they will. It's past 60,000 in one day. And uh, we've had one basic mission here at the Damage Report for at least the last few weeks, if not the entirety of the pandemic, is try to pat anyone on the right on the head who does the right thing on the coronavirus, acknowledges what's going on, encourages people to wear masks, even people I disagree with on literally everything, like Ducey and Janine Pirro and all of that. If they're saying wear masks, I'm going to give them credit. And to the credit of Fox News, they actually listed the number of cases and deaths. They almost never do this, but they did it recently for that new record. Over 62,000 cases in one day, over 132,000 deaths. And that's important because people are watching, and especially people who watch Fox News, this sort of information has generally been obscured for them. And so yeah. because people are watching, this is important. But also, one person in particular is always watching, and so right after that graphic aired, Donald Trump tweeted, for the one one hundredth time, which is not, that's not how it works. I'm not a mathematician or anything. That's not how that works. The reason we show so many cases compared to other countries that haven't done nearly as well as we have, more people have died here than literally anywhere, just bear that in mind, is that our testing is much bigger and better. We have tested 40 million people. If we did 20 million instead, cases would be half, etc. Not reported. No, <laughs> what, no, but that's, he means we're not reporting that fact. That's not true. No, if we had done less tests, they wouldn't be reported, but the cases would still be there, you colossal <laughs> moron. Anyway, I know that it's probably pointless to even say this. Expecting that he's going to learn, that he's going to catch up right. is a is probably a waste of time. But with even Sean Hannity is saying wear masks and take this seriously, and still it hasn't gotten through to Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, there was a study that came out that showed that there was a correlation between um, uh, either cases or death and viewers of Fox News, yes. specifically viewers of Sean Hannity. So if nothing else at this point, they're like, OK, we're, we're going to be liable for this. So at least <laughs> let's give some accurate reporting on this, uh, which is one thing. But uh, of course, now I like you pointed out that this is where Donald Trump is parting ways with his uh, well, with his favorite news network. Um, I, I I have no idea what he meant by one one hundred. Um, <laughs> I I I was a math uh, major in college for the first two years. Then then I, I changed to politics. <laughs> uh, but but I'm pretty sure that that absolutely means nothing. Um, but what what we see on a regular basis with Donald Trump, he continuously pushes this theme, and I and I wonder if he. No, I know that he knows that that is something that he can use to maintain his 35 percent. So long as he throws him a, a breadcrumb, as long as he throws them anything, it doesn't matter how ridiculous it is. So long as they have a talking point on social media, they'll still back him up. Yeah. And so I think he's feeding his core, his trolls. He's feeding his, his base. You, you're, you're probably right. And by the way, you spent two years in math before going to politics. I spent two years in engineering before going to politics. Hashtag hard go. sciences exit. Exactly. <laughs> there it turned is. out it was difficult. Yeah. Like yeah. It tur are. turns out that I wasn't really good past differential equations. After that, it was like, Ooh. yeah, it's time for me to get out of here. You're going to give me nightmares just saying that. Um, but yeah, you're, you're probably right. And, and I'm glad that you brought up that, um, that thing about Fox News initially, that people who watched Sean Hannity rather than Tucker Carlson, there were more deaths in that area. But it's been interesting that initially that story got Tucker Carlson some credit, like, for taking it mm. seriously. I mean, mm -hmm. sure, the way he was taking it seriously was just demonizing China. People sort of forget that part. But yeah. what's interesting is that Sean Hannity is now taking it way more seriously. Tucker Carlson is still saying masks are unscientific. He had previously, early in the pandemic, said, of course masks work. Right. And now he's moved away from that position, begging the question, why? What has changed that he's moved so far in the direction of encouraging people to be irresponsible when even dullards like Sean Hannity are now accepting that we need to take this seriously. <laughs> the dullards like Sean Hannity. I love that line. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have, I'm curious. I have no idea the true motivation of, of, of Tucker Carlson outside of his own personal, I think, glorification. I think he's just looking out. I think he sees an opportunity. 
right? Where Fox News, yeah. I, I think he's he's contrarian. He's a contrarian, and by being a contrarian, he's going against like Fox News in this case. But that opens up a lane for him at Fox News for all of the people who don't want to hear the truth from Fox News mm-hmm. to rally a- around him. So I, I think it might just be a career posturing thing. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it, it might be. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.